to be honest with you guys, it's going to be a pretty short review because majority of this chapter was fluff. There was a couple of aspects to point out that were kind of progressive to the story, but a lot of it was, oh, the fights are continuing. Oh, you know, they're continuing to go, but nobody's getting knocked down or any real major progression within this chapter. So I guess one of the points is the fact that we did get some development with Natsu, which Happy had to point it out. It's like Hero had to say, yes, you see, there is some sort of progression, although you motherfuckers always talk shit with the whole thing of Natsu saying, oh shit, you know, I'm not going to go too hard. I'm going to conserve my power so that way I have some energy for some of the bigger dogs and that's why he's not immediately taking out motherfuckers so I guess kudos to Natsu getting some development will it hold water and later on will he do stupid shit like I'm charging in I don't care we don't know but I mean in comparison to what Natsu used to be how he used to just like not give a fuck coming and swinging ah it's definitely a little bit better for his character. So that was one of the points of the chapter that I said, okay, you know, some good shit there. Natsu has slightly developed yet again. And I guess the time skip, one of the big things is that necessarily the looks didn't change because Hero wants to keep everybody looking the same. But yet again, the characters, their personalities have grown a little bit and they're understanding things a little bit better than they used to. And then the whole thing of Mita Jane, we getting to see the fruits of her labor as well with having that sailor transformation, the sailor one. Uh, thought it was kind of cool and to see her powers have progressed, knocking all those motherfuckers out on some Conqueror's King Hockey type of shit. I thought that was pretty cool as well, and again, a little bit more advancement, like, if anything that this chapter brought forth was that it showcased some development for some of the characters, but it was just really minimal and just barely any throughout the chapter. And then the chapter ends off with a naked battle, like, I'm really curious to see what the hell is Miss Brandish's motives. Why do you want to take a bath? I mean, I know why I wouldn't mind taking a bath with Lucy Arphelia, but why the fuck do you? Like, is she on that lesbo shit? Like, are we going to get some Yuri action going on? Why does she want to take a bath with Lucy and she's basically threatening her? Maybe she finds her purdy. We could have some serious Yuri shit going on here, which I won't be too mad about. But, yeah, it was just really random and weird. She's like, you're mine now, and it, it just felt really weird. She either seen something in Lucy that she really liked, she thinks she's purdy, or she's a really lonely character because she does have that facial expression of like, I'm lonely. Like, why else would she have that motherfucker in that small little state, so to speak, where it's like, oh, I want to have him. It could be that she's just really lonely and she joined with that group, the Alvarez people, so that way she has people around her, but she still feels very alone. So that could be the case as well. But yeah, majority of this chapter felt really, really fluffy. It felt like a lot of fluff and kind of fillerish. So with that being said, some of the good aspects were good amongst the characters. So I will say... I give this chapter a 5. I was going to say 4.5, but I give it a 5 average. Not too much on the progression side, but getting a little bit more insight into the development of the characters and a little bit of progression with this weird shit with Miss Brandish. So, yeah, average. Let me know what you guys think, though. Miss Brandish, why does she want to take a bath with Lucy? Is it that she's a lonely person? Is there some Yuri going to be involved? What's going on with this naked battle? And who got the bigger jugs? Or who got the more juicier ones? Lucy or Miss Brandish? I can't believe I'm asking that question. I know, but it's fairy tale, right, guys? And what do you think about Natsu's development? of like kind of understanding a little bit more to be more strategic with his fights and stuff like that thought that was pretty cool as well and your real thoughts of the chapter but that's all I have for this review thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like I'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you could do so as well that'd be amazing I'm Fennel World and as always people have an awesome day